Hey guys, guns, ammo, and drones here. And what do I got here today? This is the Keltec CP33. What a weirdly unique looking pistol. This is actually a 22 caliber. And man, this thing is just funky looking. It looks like something that would be out of a out of a space movie or or uh, or something like that. Very 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 interesting. The most notable thing really about this about this gun and we'll just start off is with these magazines. Now, these magazines are quad stack. So basically you have a you have a double stack here and a double stack here. So it, technically it's four stacks, so it's quad. These things hold 33 rounds. I've only been able to get 32 in and I might be now I might be able to squeeze 33, but I'm fine with 32. Very very interesting and it's see-through so you can see how many are in it very 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 neat uh magazine and it's big and when it fits up into the gun it fits really good i mean there's no chance of it coming out matter of fact i can only put it up in there that far and shake it and it's not gonna it's not gonna come out this is a tight fit and both of them are like that and a lot of the other videos that you watch are going to be the same thing they'll tell you the same thing the grip panel here is pretty interesting uh they're just big squares as you can see or rectangles or whatever you want to call them there aren't any on the front there aren't any on the back and one of the things you'll notice is that there's just rivets everywhere so it kind of looks like a toy gun like it was just put together with kind of like what you had they were thinking outside the box or whatever the terminology would be, but the, the gun is pretty interesting to hold 33 rounds in, in a magazine. Now, this is all polymer here. You do have an aluminum slide up top and the, the barrels, uh, stainless steel. All the parts that are supposed to be steel are steel. Here's your charging handle. All right, now it's going to stay open because I have the magazine in it. And the other thing you'll notice here is that the magazine release is right here on the heel of the uh, of the rifle or I'm, I'm sorry on the pistol and that's how you that's how you uh, change the mag so obviously that's ambidextrous because you can use it left or right as same thing with the, um, the safety it's a frame mounted safety ambidextrous it does have an M lock rail up here underneath so if you want to hang a light or a laser from it you'll have to get the uh, the M lock and, and secure that here. But you can see that the top is all aluminum rail. The top of this from the from back at the uh, at the fiber optic site here to the front of this one is nine inch. So this gives you a really, really large sight radius uh, to really be accurate with this pistol. It's it's just it's really really nice. The other thing is it has a threaded barrel. Now this is a five and a half inch barrel. So in case you want to use a suppressor, you can do that. Just screw that on and you are good to go. Now I'm not gonna put the suppressor on just in case there's issues or what have you with, uh, with YouTube, but it is suppressor ready right out of the box. It does come with two magazines. The charging handle is, is nice, and, nice and big here. And let me see if we can get the inside of the chamber. Probably not gonna show up. Let me turn this light on right here. There we go. Should have had that on to start with. All right, there's there's inside. All right, the trigger, awesome trigger. I mean, this thing is. I want to say it's. Let me see. If, oh, I got the safety on. Two pounds, two two and a half pounds. It's a very light trigger. Now let's check the reset now. I'm not 100% sure about the reset on these. It was audible a little bit only because it's really close to close to my to my ears. I don't know whether you, you're, able to, you're able to pick it up or not, but it does have a pretty long reset. Either either way, this thing is is just a fantastic shooter. Now the manual will tell you what kind of ammo it likes. Now so far, these three right here are the ones that work the best. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, the CCI mini mags uh, work the best. Actually, most most of the CCI, except for the, uh, the low velocity rounds, the subsonic, these ones here, 
any of the CCIs other than the subsonic rounds work the best. I have had no issues shooting this with the CCI. Matter of fact, I haven't even had any issues with the uh, Remington uh, 22 Golden. And then the Winchester Super X seemed to work really well also. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, as long as you stick within a, they say 40 grain works the best, but CCI is on their list. And, and these ones here happen to be the, uh, the 36 grain but the rest of these um, are the 40 grain and they work great. Anything high velocity uh, will, will see, it seems to work just fine in, uh, in this thing. It's a really nice, really nice gun. As far as the, uh, the, the weight, this whole thing unloaded. Now with the magazine, just with nothing in it, weighs uh, a pound and a half. And that's pretty interesting considering how big of a, a, big of a, gun, it, a gun it is. But you can also see how thin it is also. Now, now that I just turned this around and I saw these, you'll, you'll notice these little ears right here. I've seen, I, I haven't done any research on it, uh, but I've seen some people are putting an aftermarket stock and it's supposed to slide in there. But if you want, you can put some clips and wear it around your, your uh, wear, around, wear it around your neck, you know, off of a lanyard or something like that, uh, which would be, uh, which would be pretty interesting. And there's the fiber optic sight up front, fiber optic sight in the back. Um, overall length of the gun is about 10.6 inches. So it's, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a pretty big gun. Uh, I said the barrel length was five, uh, five and a half. And as far as the barrel threads, if you decide to get one of these and then suppress it, it is half by 28. So make sure you stick with, uh, you stick with that. It's a very interesting pistol. I'm going to do some shooting with this once the range opens up again because of the whole coronavirus stuff that's going on and um when we'll put up some um we'll put up some shooting videos for right now we're just going to do the we're just going to do the review on this right now i think this gun you can probably get these for about 450 because of the coronavirus it's probably normally 399 to 4 420 something like that um, without, um, without anything going on, this dem panic thing that's, uh, causing a lot of problems. Gun, gun sales are up, ammo sales are, are way up and, uh, they're, they're causing things to be more expensive. But as soon as this is all settled, you'll, you'll be able to find these things for around 400, maybe less, depending on how bad somebody wants to get rid of it. But, um, and this little mark here is from a site that I had on it. Uh, that was my fault. I, put on a, a bad site and it didn't really work too well, uh, but that's okay. I'll cover it up, cover it up later. Anyway, hope you guys like this review. I know it was quick. This is the kel CP33. I uh, hope you guys uh, get out and shoot sometime soon and uh, check back for some more updates on some of these guns and, and shooting reviews when, uh, when I get back to the range. Thanks a lot, guys. We will see you later.